And what part of your leg are you using as a driving aid? Okay, I want to talk about that a little bit more. Just even as you're just walking off here, you can stop for a second. So what I want you to think about is instead of going working off this, that you work off your upper calf okay. instead, and that this is a little bit softer through there. So this is your main point of driving. This is... Oh, when you go forward, you know, Robert was talking about in the lecture, when you close your leg and you close your hand, recycles trots off, starts from up here. And I squeeze with both my legs to make them go forward. And if they don't go forward, I squeeze until they run. Okay. okay? And if they really don't go forward, I turn my toe out and stick my spur in them until they run. Okay. okay? So that you're not riding around here going, please, 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 please. Okay. Think a little bit about that. Even as you're walking him around, that you feel, and if we want to create a horse that is thinking about stretching more, he's got to be even walking around here way more self-going and in front of your upper calf, where you feel too like you're not driving with your seat and you sit still, and if you close your upper leg, this horse moves forward. And you squeeze until he goes. And if he doesn't go, turn your toes out, stick your spurt, yeah, and that, good. So that it's not, look at me, Claire, it's not that you go up there and you're like this all the time. He has to move in front of you. Good. So squeeze. Yeah, good. You feel it? Because I think a lot of times we end up, we're unconscious about what we're doing and we end up kicking on them all the time and they just, they don't pay attention anymore. They can't hear you. So even here, he's not, for me, walking forward enough. He's not, yeah. Good. 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 And see if you can rotate your pelvis underneath you a little bit more. Yeah, good. And there he fell behind you again. You, so that you have the feeling in the, in the walk, no matter what you're doing, if it's a collected walk, or an extended walk, or a medium walk, this horse is actually moving forward within the rhythm all the time, and you're not driving him there. He's taking the initiative to, to be in front of you. So squeeze. Yeah, that's right, and then leave him alone. Good. And then you sit still and you, let's say, allow him. There, you felt him back off, right? So squeeze again. Yeah, good. There you go, and then leave him alone. So that's, for me, bare minimum right there.